Governor, um, lots of confusion here in this city, lots of criticism of the president, lots of support for the president. Um, today, he, you know, he, he did meet with the president of Romania. He spoke to Prime Minister Theresa May of the UK. I mean, he's, he's done business, um, yet, uh, you know, the question is, uh, have you changed your mind about him? At one time, you called him a phony. Well, I supported him very aggressively in the 2016 election against Mrs. Clinton, so I think it's obvious. I'm very happy Trump is in the White House. Um, so what do you make of all this other, I mean, today, I mean, the, the episode today where he's sort of dangling out there that there may be tapes. Um, I don't know if there are tapes. That he says you'll testify. What are your thoughts about that? Look, th this all flows from, from yesterday's uh, testimony by James Comey. I think as, as this thing gets dissected a little bit better by calmer heads, I think people are going to begin to see that the president may be right. Yesterday may have been a much better day for President Trump than people are giving him credit for. I think Jim Comey uh, really uh, created some problems for himself uh, when he talked about the, the uh, uh, memos that he leaked to the press. He claimed he did it after, as an afterthought when something hit him on Monday. But in fact, uh, on Thursday preceding, uh, the Times was quoting from those memos. And there is no way that Jim Comey could have not understood that when they were quoting so explicitly that the memos, you know, were already leaked. So obviously they must have been leaked well before that Monday flash. So that, that statement on his about Monday is purely a fabrication. Uh, I think he created other problems for himself. This thing trying to make it out, make it sound as if the president asking to see him private is nefarious. Presidents grant a courtesy to cabinet members and heads of major departments to let them talk to him in private so that they can tell him as frankly as they want what they want about these issues. Frankly, at that time, the attorney general was the, was the the. Um, one in charge of, of Comey. He asked the attorney general to step out. There's nothing wrong with that. He wanted to, uh, it was an opportunity that Comey failed to take advantage of. If Comey was uncomfortable with what the president told him, they were in private. He could tell him in private that that was inappropriate, but he failed to do that. The fact that, that Comey himself in January asked for one-on-one -on -one meetings, a uh, meeting with the president, I think set the tone for it. So all of this uh, self-sanctification by Comey of himself and the adulation he's getting from the liberal press on a uh, finer examination of what he said, I don't think stands up. Do you go as far as his son, Donald Trump Jr.? And look, you know, I give a lot of latitude to children whose parents, I mean, I don't, you know, children are a different category to me than, than, a, than a colleague or, or someone who works for you or some friend. But he says that this is a 10-month witch hunt. Are you saying this is unfair investigation of Trump? Because, look, I mean, the one thing is, he, I mean, he, he does get right into the spat by these tweets, by dangling there may be tapes, not tapes. I mean, he does play around a lot with it, so he doesn't have completely clean hands on this. Look, whether it's unfair or fair doesn't make any difference. It's been an investigation for seven months. Burr, in the opening statement, in the opening questions to Comey, asked him if Trump or anyone in the administration had pressured him to drop the investigation of the Russian involvement in 2016. He said no. Simple, declarative no. Now, the press is jumping on the fact that later on in the conversation, Comey said, well, he was sure that Mueller would look into whether or not there was any, fur any involvement there uh, by the president or others. I I'm not sure if he said others, but certainly by the president. I'm sure that Mueller will look to see if there's involvement by anyone in this process, including was there collusion by the Democrats with the Russians. So the fact that he expresses an obvious reality doesn't mean that there's a culpability or a problem there. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.